What do you know? Well, here's an interesting question. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to see your parents through grown-up eyes? Well, the musical Fun Home is a five-time Tony Award-winning production opening tonight here in Nashville, and it tells that story. The story of following some of the mysteries of growing up, and it's resonating with audiences across the country. Robert Petkoff stars in the show, and we are delighted to welcome him to Nashville. Great to see you. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. Okay, so this is a show that's won so many awards, uh, yeah. even a Pulitzer and a, a Grammy Award. Yeah, it's, um, it's pretty terrific. I what's say. the backstory? You know, it's, it's the story of Alison Bechtel, a cartoonist, uh, and it's, it's just the, what you just said. It's looking at your parents through grown-up eyes. She looks back at her life. Um, she's played by three different actresses, uh, a 12-year-old, a 19-year-old, uh, a and a, a woman of uh, uh, middle age. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, and, and so it's a fascinating look at, at her relationship with her family, in particular the relationship she had with her father, mm -hmm. who I play, uh, it was a difficult and fascinating relationship. Yeah. Talk about Bruce, your character. Um, yeah, you what's know, it like playing a real person? It's it's interesting because you sort of feel like you want to get it right. Mm -hmm. You know, with with a fictional character, you do whatever you want. But uh, with Bruce, because he was a real man, I don't want to make choices that would be it wouldn't honor him. Sure, and um, he's a complicated man. A very complicated, very layered character, and and so it's it's been very difficult for me to try to find out who this man is, you know. But but because it's so layered, a year into the tour, I, I'm still discovering new things. Wow, what is it about this show that resonates so well with families, even if they can't relate to the particular story? You know, I think at its heart, because it's a story about family. Um, it's it. There's a great quote that someone said in New York uh, that you'll relate to Fun Home if you're either a mother, a father, a daughter or a son. Um, <laughs> otherwise, you won't relate at all. Right, exactly. Uh, and, and it is because it, 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 people come to the show feeling like uh, they might not feel like they might connect with it. But I've so many people after the show have said to me, boy, I, I really didn't expect it to, but I got so emotional uh, watching this show. Yeah. And that's really gratifying to hear, you know, as the actor. Oh, I, I bet it is. You've played some really fun roles like, uh, you know, Spam a lot and things like that. This one's pretty intense. It's really intense. And therefore, you know, I sometimes shows are like cotton candy. You know, mm -hmm. you, they're really fun and they're quick and you sort of forget about them later. Yeah. And I think a fun home is sort of a, a, a gourmet meal. Uh, because it's something that stays with you a long time after. People have said to me over and over, they've written to me on Facebook or on Twitter, saying, I'm st it, it's been two months since I saw the show, I'm still thinking about it. Wow. Which I think is a, a, a real testament to Janine Tesori, who wrote the music, and Lisa Crone, who wrote the book, and to Sam Gold, our director. I and of course, so. to Alison Bechtel, who wrote the original story. That's so fascinating. I'm so glad you're in Nashville. Hope yeah. opening night's going to be a big success tonight. I hope so, too. We'll try not to, we'll try not to get too wet. Yeah, right, well, <laughs> that's okay. Stay inside. Watch the that's show. Fine. It's going to be great. Thanks for being with us. Thank today. you so much.